Joining me now with reaction, Fox News senior correspondent Geraldo Rivera. Now, Geraldo, I almost couldn't read that read with a straight face. Not when in front of me, anyway. is, is Hillary Clinton <laughs> trustworthy? You know, she, you, no one can actually think she's trustworthy. She, I think that she gets a bad rap, and I, I will uh, debate you on that issue. I think that it is unfortunate, though, that she didn't answer the question in a straightforward way. If you're asked, have you ever told a lie, you say, no, I've never told a lie, and maybe your nose grows, maybe it doesn't. I've been divorced several times, so you know that I was lying to somebody at some point in my life. Uh, but, uh, and, and I'm sure that they, everyone watching right now has told a fib or two. I mean, uh, you know, didn't uh, George Washington not jump, chop down the cherry tree and well, I he said I cannot yeah, tell yeah. a lie I did it he, yeah. he said he did lie. all right well Hillary but Clinton no, but, is but, no but, George Washington this is her big this is one of her biggest faults right now is that people don't trust her her trustworthy numbers are in the it's tank. because people like tank. you have no, it's because of the way she answered that question no, Geraldo. the way you he asked her with straight straight up, up, and all the rest are you trustworthy do you tell lies I well, agree I, with you she should have answered the question she should have answered the question in a far more straightforward way and the fact that I saw Scott Pelley and I was looking at him and I was watching the thing he kind of got a sheen on his face is watching and she's not going to answer the question with a straight face. I mean, I thought that it was unfortunate and I, I regret it. I do think that uh, it is overblown that she lacks credibility. I really think that she gets a bad rap. Okay, now let's talk about how they both want to put themselves as the, the closest Obama surrogate. They there both no want to be the third term Obama. I no doubt about it. I absolutely agree with you, even though Bernie Sanders uh, is and has been a professed independent and socialist uh, for most of his life. In South Carolina, let me just go there first, 55% yeah. of the Democratic primary electorate is African American. Sure. Among that group, 90 plus percent approve of the job President Obama has been doing, the way he's handled his job. It behooves Hillary well, Clinton. And why to, would that be, though? And, well, and, well that, that, we can debate that, but I just want to, just want to give you the facts. But it is interesting I, I to, give you to, the, to, the facts to go in depth why they approve of President Obama's job, because well, I, they're clearly not working as may, at, at, at the rate they were prior to President Obama. I, I, they're I, in a deeper I poverty that. and I, their, I, their incomes are let's lower. Let's put so aside the objective facts. I'm, I'm just giving you the surveys. Having come now from five days in South Carolina, I Brother, report. I report to let me finish. They're approving of him because I he's African American. Is he, are they I, not? I report to you that, that he is extremely no? popular. Therefore, Hillary Clinton is trying to associate but neither with him. One Hillary because or Bernie are black. Today, they can't use today that. Hillary got the key endorsement of Jim Clyburn, the senior African American in the United States Congress. Not only is it symbolically important, but he also has an organization that can help her turn out the vote. I predict Hillary Clinton. And wins by major double digits in South Carolina. Now to Nevada. Nevada is different than South Carolina. How is it different? There are far fewer people of color who vote in Nevada than there are in South Carolina. There are the, the black uh, population is under 10 percent, but they vote disproportionately heavy in the Denver. So they say 15 percent are black, 15 percent are Latino. Those 30 percent will favor Hillary Clinton, but she's getting zero white young people support. I went to the or, College of Charleston. Black. Zero. She's, she's not getting African well, Americans they, or, or Latino vote on, uh, of the She'll young, win the minority people. vote. She'll eke out a victory, I believe, in Nevada. But if she doesn't, Terrell, let's just say she doesn't, because mo most of the polls have it very, very close. It very tight in Nevada. It Nevada comes close. before South Carolina. So you hit Nevada. If she loses, she hasn't done very well lately. She may start to roll South Carolina. Dominoes fall. They do. I, I believe she will eke out. Now, let's talk next week if, in fact, Nevada goes sour Nevada, for Hillary. Nevada. 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 It's a Spanish word, Nevada. <laughs> Gringo. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I, I believe that she'll eke out a narrow victory in Nevada, and I think that she'll overwhelmingly win South Carolina, and then she'll begin to roll. I no doubt. That's the firewall, though, right? You were talking that about the firewall. the firewall. The firewall works. Let's Black talk about, people will say but, Hillary but, 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 but will they? I and, think. And, and why? Because the Clinton family has been symbolically so close to the African American, she was there for the civil rights movement. She was a storefront lawyer and all the rest. So she has she has the credibility. We've talked all week about what Bill Clinton has done for the African American right. community. What? He's incarcerated. He, he was there for the 1994 crime bill that put more African Americans and more minorities in jail. He was there when they decided to make um, a tie work to welfare payments. Remember that that program as well. Sister Soldier. They don't like. They didn't. Yeah, Sister Soldier moment. They didn't. They don't like. So that's it. Just Sister Soldier. There, there that's is. It. There is a, a style and a feeling. And he a played a saxophone. Well, that's part of it. It is a respect that he and the Clinton family has shown this community that heretofore had been taken for granted. He embraced them as a as a white governor coming out of Arkansas. He he 
had the pretension to be the first black president, quote unquote, uh, you know, because he was so simpatico in so many ways that it's almost instinctual. I, I agree with you that objectively speaking, Clinton was a much more of a centrist, as I believe Hillary Clinton will be, than his reputation. And, and the Obama numbers. The Obama numbers for African Americans are horrendous. Yeah, the the, the, the African American um, group as the only group, not Latinos, not whites, Latinos and whites' incomes have gone up under President Obama. Incomes. Blacks have gone down, the only group. Do you know there is, there is something to be said? He is the first black man to mm. run the most powerful country on earth. There is pride involved. Okay, there, is, uh, there is their son, fair you enough. can go someday. Well, at least we There's got to what it's really things. about, because it's well, not about the numbers. It's about the bottom line, isn't it? Right, well, I guess so. All right, Geraldo, thank you.